Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. <laughs> it is the last Saturday of June. I, I don't know where June went to. It just seems to have flown right by. <laughs> um, and actually, um, I have to make an announcement that um, a week from today, I will be on my way to the Raleigh Durham Airport and I will be headed to Florida with my mother and with my daughter's mother-in-law and uh the two of us are going to be meeting my daughter and her family in florida um we're not flying together because uh i had sky miles on delta she had miles on another airline so we're going to meet in florida and then on monday morning we uh sunday we were going to the um Kennedy Space Center, and then Monday we are boarding the um, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, and we are taking a cruise together. <laughs> I have never been on a cruise. I, I was on a day cruise maybe 35, 38 years ago when my girls were small, but it was a six-hour ride to a Bahama Island from Florida. So... This will be um, actually spending most of those five days or five nights on a cruise line. So it, this is a first, but uh, we got a fantastic deal. Uh, my daughter's mother-in-law, Cindy, and I get along great. And we are sharing a room together with um, a deck. We're up on an upper floor and we got such a great deal. So it's really good. Thank you, Diane, and good morning. Um, I've kept it kind of quiet, just, um, I, I don't know, just waiting for the last Saturday of the month to let everyone know. So basically that means that uh, I am not going to be able to do my Saturday morning fireside chat next Saturday or the following Saturday. Um, the following Saturday, we will be uh, getting ready to board our plane again. Um, or no, that's on Sunday. Let me think. Oh, then following Saturday, we're getting off the boat and we are getting off early in the morning. Then we're looking for our shuttle to get back to Orlando for the flight back. And so it'll be a bit of a crazy morning. So both mornings, a little crazy. I will likely do a live sometime on Saturday next week and the following Saturday, but it'll probably be later in the day when I'm sitting around in an airport. <laughs> um, and uh, probably the next time, well, if you see a live, well, the next time that I do fireside chat, I'm probably gonna be a little bit darker. Uh, I plan on doing a lot of reading out on the deck, watching for dolphins and, ooh, wouldn't it be great to see whales? <laughs> and um, doing some drawing and reading and writing. So I plan on having some quiet and peaceful, restful time, as well as time to do some fun things with the family. So I'm excited. So I'm also hoping next year that I can plan a trip with my other daughter and her kids and um, just making memories with each of them and just having a really nice time with the kids while the kids are a little bit older. So now um, I'm a bit scattered this morning. So I actually don't even have notes. I usually do. Ah, um, it's not that I got up late or anything this morning, but I have a lot going on right now. I have a lot to do before I go on my trip and I have a lot that I've been working on and I really want to try to get as much stuff done that I've been prepping for before I leave. So I wanted to tell you a few things about what I've been prepping for. Um, so one of them is, and this isn't the first time you're seeing this, but um, the last time that I showed you this, I showed you the uh, proof and I really didn't want you to see very much of the proof because um, the proof was just the proof and it needed some editing even after um, I got a hold of it. So I wanted to wait until I had the actual finished uh, book. So this is called a coffee table book. 
The coffee table book is not just a regular book. Um, it is a conversation piece. It is a piece of art in and of itself. And it's full of art and it's full of devotionals, poetry, and prayers. Um, it is a wonderful witnessing tool. It is a wonderful piece to pick up when you're sitting on the couch. You throw yourself on the sofa at the end of the day. You're tired. Pick up your book and open something up that's inspiring and um and just encouraging something that will lift you up and be you'll be encouraged for the remainder of the day. So these are some of the pieces of art that are in here and the devotionals. Oh, it's so hard to do this backwards. <laughs> the devotionals that are in here as well. Um, so a lot of these devotionals are things that you have seen me post on Facebook. Um, and also, and I see there's two people on today. I only see Diane. So whoever's the other person that's on, would you kindly say hello? Um, or just uh, throw a heart or a smile in the comments so I can say good morning to you. I really would love that. Oh, I see three people on. So be sure to say good morning so I can greet you as well. So when we're talking about well, we're talking about tons of things this morning. The fact that I'm going on a cruise next Saturday, so I will not be doing a regular fireside chat next Saturday or the following Saturday because this Saturday, next Saturday, I'll be flying to Florida and the following Saturday, I'll be flying back or getting off the boat from our cruise and uh, heading back to Orlando so we can catch our plane the next morning. But anyway, so I will do a live next Saturday and a live the following Saturday. I just can't say exactly when, and it won't be a fireside chat because I'll be in an airport probably both times or in a car or in a hotel or somewhere. And um, I probably won't be doing a fireside chat because there won't be a fire around. It'll just be hot and blazing. That'll be my fire. <laughs> So I also wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what I'm rushing around trying to get done before I go on my cruise. And this is the uh, this is the coffee table book that I have been creating. And a coffee table book is not just a it's not it's not really a standard book. It's not a book you're going to sit down and read chapter by chapter. It doesn't have chapters. It is a piece of art in and of itself. It is a conversation piece. It is a photo album in a way, but it's also full of devotionals, prayers, and uh, poetry. Um, so some of the um, some of the things that you will see uh, posted, uh, you'll see art every time you turn the page. You'll see art, and then you'll also see uh, devotionals that are things that you may have read on some of my Facebook posts. And some of them are new. Um, they've all been edited and, um, uh, you know, sometimes when I'm typing on Facebook, they don't necessarily, um, they're not the best English. It's, you know, 530 in the morning and maybe I forgot commas. So they're, they're, they're not just copy and pasted from Facebook. They're copy, pasted, edited, and then repasted <laughs> into the book. There's also poetry. There's also some devotionals you haven't heard or seen before. Uh, there's a poem in here you've never heard. Uh, and there's some poetry in here that you might have heard. Some of you may not have heard. But anyway, a very inspirational book full of art. Uh, some of your favorites, some of your favorite devotionals that I've posted on Facebook, some art you haven't seen before as well, I'm sure. And this is a wonderful conversation piece. It is a great piece to have in an office um, on your coffee table to start conversation. It's a great lead into, um, you know, just a witnessing tool. Um, it's a great gift. It's a wonderful gift to give to someone. So this uh, book is now available. Um, I have copies and um, what I'm looking to do is I, what I would love most to do because this is not just a standard book and I really would love people to have a chance to look at it and see the value that it will have for them uh, in the book. So hi, how are you? You're watching from 
Namibia. Where's Namibia? I have not heard of that before. Where is that? <laughs> I'm curious. I've never heard of it. Um, but uh, also just that um, this is a wonderful piece. So also on the back of the book, um, I have a little bit of introduction to myself. Of course, you put on that on the back of the book. Um, I have now officially, I'm officially two companies. Uh, one is Faith Garden Publishing because I will be publishing some various types of public of publications or literature books. Um, also, uh, I am officially now Art Encounters. <laughs> so um, as I have been this year praying about what does God want me to do with my gifts and talents, with the things that I love, with the passions that he has given me? Um, what do I see are the things that I add the most value to in the world? And I have been praying about those things, kind of putting them all in uh, a um, in a big uh, package and saying, what is this doing? Wow, Pam, that's amazing. I, I had a feeling by the name that Nama Avia would be in Africa, but didn't want to make that assumption. And you are hunting in South Africa. I have to say, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> that is amazing. And I hope that you have an amazing time. How long are you going to be in Africa hunting? <laughs> wow. I, I'm really, this. that's really cool. That's, that's about the coolest vacation I've heard of. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, the reflections and devotionals are currently on sale online. So you can go to my website and I don't know if you can scan this while you are on line, but I do have a QR code on the back of the book and um, you can scan that or you can go to my website, gailruthartgallery.com and you'll find the book there in my online store. Three weeks. How awesome. <laughs> Hi, Karen. You're here. I'm so glad. Yay. You're listening while you walk on this beautiful morning. Great. Awesome. I, I need to get out and walk this morning too. Although I have a huge, huge painting that someone's commissioned me to do and I'm really hoping to finish it by Tuesday before my art student comes back. Um, he's coming back on Tuesday. I really want to get all this, this big canvas and all these paints out of the way, but um they'll be out of the way. I just, they might, the painting might not be finished. It's taking me a while. It's a four foot by three foot painting. It's been a lot of fun to paint, but it is, um, it is taking me a little bit of time. Anyway, Karen, you have the uh, coffee table book and I've been showing, I've been showing some pages out of the book and explaining that this book is not just a, a regular book. It is a coffee table book. It's a conversation piece. It is a piece of art. It is filled with inspiration and encouragement, poetry, prayers, devotionals, and of course, some of your favorite pieces of art. And um, this is a great gift. It is a great uh, conversation piece. And it's a great way to open it up at the end of a busy day and just be inspired and filled by God's word again. So I would love, I know you've, you've read at least part of the book or looked at part of the book, Karen, if you have any comments you'd like to add um, as to what's your, what's your opinion or what your, uh, you know, how the book has, has had value to you. She loves the book. I want you to all say that Karen loves the book. <laughs> um, and, um, I would love to hear, uh, you know, what it is that you most that you most appreciate about the book itself. So I also started to say on the back of the book is a QR code. So you can go to the QR code, which will take you to various things on the website. Um, one of the things on the website is a tab that says Art Encounters. So I am now legally um, Faith Garden Publishing LLC, and I'm also... Uh, legally Art Encounters, which is a DBA or a doing business as Art Encounters under the business name Faith Garden Publishing. And um, one of the reasons that I've done that is because I will be uh, producing a variety of different kinds of 
publications. Um, I hope to be creating cards. You, some of you know I used to do cards, um, blank greeting cards and cards that had scriptures. I am changing that up, but I'm still looking for the right place to have those printed. But those will be something that I will have available soon. Um, I have an idea in my mind of a Christmas card that I want to create. So and it's quite unique. <laughs> And you'll see why when you see the card, but I'm still in the process of creating that and getting that done. So that's one publication. Another publication is going to be adult coloring books and adult coloring book pages. So the pages will be available page by page and I will have um, a simplified coloring pages and I'll have advanced coloring pages. So uh, those are something new that I'm producing and they're not quite ready yet. Um, and I'm also creating something that I'm calling the watercolor pencil art kit. And the watercolor pencil art kit is uh, very uh, unique. It's a step above, I would say, the adult coloring experience where I really give people the opportunity to create pieces of art of their own. The kit includes two watercolor drawings on nice watercolor paper, two mats to frame your work, and also uh, watercolor pencils, of course, brushes and some other tools that you'll need to complete your work, plus a tutorial. So when you get the kit, you get also a link to a YouTube video that only you can watch, and it shows you how to get different techniques with your watercolor pencil. Now, Karen has so graciously given us some feedback on the book. So she said, Gail's devotional devotion are so encouraging and insightful. Her paintings are very beautiful and everyone needs this book on their coffee table. Good job, Gail. Thank you so much. Sweet. You're so sweet. And also her devotions are in the book are so good. Thank you so much. What I did and thank you also, Pam. I think all of this is also very exciting. Unfortunately for me, life keeps getting in the way. And so everything just keeps taking a little bit longer to get done, ready, finished, and out there. But I'm working on it. And I have been working diligently on all of these things. And um, yes, and the kit would also make a great gift for someone. Um, I already have someone who wants to order too <laughs> for that very reason, a gift for someone else. So uh, yes, it would make a great gift. Um, the um, One of the reasons why there's still a delay in the production of the kit is because I have applied for wholesale license and I have contacted various companies and I'm still waiting for the feedback on what kinds of discounts or prices or if I'm you know that I can I can that can be provided for me um I obviously I'm not at a point where I can order thousands of everything so some companies may not accept my application at this time as a wholesaler but I'm hoping to so that I can get my prices down and this really becomes affordable gifts and um affordable uh enjoyment and you know, it, it's an opportunity for people to create art for themselves, which is a great way to relieve stress. And um, I um, and if you know me, this is something that I uh, really want to um, I really want to incorporate into what I do. Um, is inspire people with God's word and encourage them. So while people are coloring or painting or whatever is the tool they want to use uh, to complete a coloring page or the coloring book or, um, or in the watercolor pencil art kits, um, is that I want them to have um, a focus, an opportunity to ponder, reflect, think, pray, whatever it might be to add value to their time of getting quiet with the Lord. Um, it's one thing to get quiet. And sometimes when we're getting quiet and we don't have a focus to quiet the brain down, the it doesn't necessarily 
bring us peace. <laughs> Sometimes for some people, getting quiet makes us face the things that are that we're in turmoil over and that creates turmoil, which prevents us from having that creativity. And, um, and so I'm really hoping that, um, that these, these projects can be done in a way that really add value to people's lives, because they, in fact, lead people to focus on the Lord and his words. So those are my goals <laughs> for the remainder of this year, hopefully for the remainder of the summer. And um, I do hope that um, that you'll get on the website and, and you'll, and you know, I do, I do have, um, I, if you are interested in hearing more about how things are coming along, when things are available, if you are not already on my email list, um, send me a message and I'll happily put you um, on uh, or send me, a, you know, a private message with your email. So I can put your email in the list and get your newsletter out. Now, I haven't sent a newsletter out lately because one, I've been so busy trying to get some of these other things done, but also I have been, um, and my doggy was, was sick last week. So he had a ruptured gland and um, I literally was nursing him back to health over the week, spoon feeding him <laughs> his dog food and mashed sweet potato um, and pumpkin. So um, a little busy with that last last week. But um, I have um, I have not done a newsletter yet because I wasn't quite ready to announce enough of the details about the projects that I have coming up, but that will be coming up soon. Probably a newsletter going out either right before my trip or right after. And if you missed the information about my trip, you'll want to see the beginning of the video because I will not be doing a fireside chat next Saturday or the Saturday after I will do a live on both Saturdays. So it'll probably be later in the day. It will not be a fireside chat. So um, that is my whew, huge amount of things to share with you this morning. And um, I uh, am going to head downstairs to finish uh, or hopefully finish or get ready to finish, close to finish, um, a huge, huge um, um commissioned piece of art that I've been working on. So I was going to try and I would, I should have um, uploaded this on to share with you, but I'm going to try and share it with you now. I'm really pleased with the way this is coming out, but I show you this because I want you to know um, that, uh, that, you know, I, I'm available for, let me see if we can just, if you can see that. So it's a mountain scene. Um, it's the mountain peaks of uh, North Carolina and the sun rising over the mountain. So this is a four foot by three foot piece. It is actually the largest canvas I've ever worked on. <laughs> and um, it has taken me some time. But I am available also for um, commissioned pieces. So um, if that's ever something that you would like to uh, explore with me, I, I like to discuss with you the kinds of things that you like, share pictures, get an idea of the area where it's going to be and help help you make the decision about what kind of an art piece would be great in your home. Um, so anyway, that was my message for today. Um, yes, a lot of promo, but um, I felt like it was it was time to kind of catch up and let you know the variety of things that I have going on. And um, hopefully these things will all be ready soon and available soon. The coffee table book is available now. I have a friend who uh, here in my neighborhood, and we also go to the same church. She is hosting um, a book reveal with art um, and some of my other books uh, for, uh, people to come and see and for me to sign books for, um, if this is something that you would be interested in doing, um, I would love, uh, to, uh, to do that. I'd love opportunities for, um, to meet friends, your friends, and, um, and it doesn't even have to be in your home. It could be, uh, a zoom meeting with friends and just, uh, sharing my story and, allowing that to be an encouragement to others um, and 
also an opportunity for you and your friends to see other materials that are out there that may be of value and interest to them as well. So if that's something that would interest you, uh, send me a message, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to um, explore those possibilities with you. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, a beautiful weekend. Stay warm, but stay cool. <laughs> and also, um, just to, re just to remember that I will not be doing a fireside chat next Saturday or the Saturday after. I will do a live each day, but it'll be later in the day, probably from an airport. <laughs> and, um, and in the meantime, probably that week that I'm on the ship, I won't be available on, on, uh, on social media. So um, pictures will have to follow after. And I would imagine that when I do my live, on the Saturday that we come back. Um, I'll have lots of pictures for you. <laughs> so um, love you all. I hope you have a great weekend. Don't forget to let me know if you're watching on the replay um, so I can greet you. And if you missed the beginning of this, don't be afraid to uh, rewind and watch the beginning and catch the, catch the first part of it. So uh, love you all. Have a great weekend. And We'll see you soon on Fireside Chat. Bye-bye.